Well, I guess it's that time of year again, Madam Leota. Is it time to give them a tour of our haunted house? Are the walls moving? Or is that just your imagination? What do you think, Madam Leota? Do you want to fill them in? Or should Mickey Ghost fill them in? I don't know. You tell me. Welcome to another video with Black with Ilani. Who is Black with Ilani? That is me. Welcome to my Decorate with Me home tour video. I'll be doing a little bit of talking and then I'll also be doing like the home tour part. I'm kind of like sharing with you guys what I did for the season indoors. I have not done anything outdoors yet, but I want to show share with you guys and show you guys what I have done inside. So you guys can see this if you guys saw this from the thumbnail and the intro of the video this is my madame leota diy so what i did was i went to my computer just went to a regular computer i found an image of whichever one you want you could do a spookier one i kind of chose to do like a sexy madame leota right so i <laughs> i basically printed her and i basically took her and i put her inside of this glass i have a smaller version of this too that i created it's like a tabletop version i have to show it to you guys i think i took it back to my garage with the containers but I have a smaller version that I started off with. This is the bigger version that I did. And this one has the glass lid in the base. I did find this particular one, this actual globe. This is like glass here. And then this part is like a black ba base. I did pick that up at Michael's last year. I did not see any of those there this year. And I basically just took the image, make sure it's circular. And then the way that I have it standing like that is a trick. Okay. It's like a whole illusion. It's like a Leilani Imagineer Disney fake wannabe inspired Disney, right? I'm just I'm teasing, but I'm true. I'm for real, right? So it's an illusion, but then it's not an illusion. So basically what I did was I took a dab of hot glue. You have to make sure your hot glue gun is super hot. And if you guys look close, I did this last year and it still held up and she's still holding on there, which is really awesome. So what I did was I took a dab of hot glue and I just stood this piece of paper up in the center of it. So I'm going to try to move it slowly without kind of messing with it too much, but you guys can see the back here. I just have a tea light and a piece of tape folded, wrapped around itself in front of the, t in front of the tea light. And then I just have her image like this and I just have it just leaning against it. So that's how you get the whole thing. So this cake plate right here, it says Pocus Pocus. It's a Ray Dunn cake plate. And I picked that up, I want to say in 2021. I did not find it last year. It was 2021. And I also have these like candelabras, which is my favorite word for October. You guys might hear me say candelabra, 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 just because. So I have these two and I thought they were perfect for like a seance type of situation, kind of decor set up on this table. So this is a Ray Dunn cake plate. It is purple on the bottom. And I thought it was perfect to put this on this year. Last year I had her on my hut shelf, but this year I put her here. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to show you guys how I did that. And then also I made a Mickey ghost and this is basically a Mickey ghost. So these are the ghosts that you pick up from Dollar Tree. They're just a dollar for the ghost. And I actually took two pieces of cardboard. I cut perfect circles. I cut out two circles of felt, black felt from Michaels and just hot glued that on top of the circles. And then I have two, two pieces in the back of Mickey where he is actually, um, see how that looks in the back? That's how I did that, super simple. And I just hot glued that down and that's how I made the spooky Mickey ghost. Super simple. Just get the actual, the ghosts that they have like this. They have the ones now too that have different color like witch legs too. So I'll be up to you if you want to use that part of it. But I just found this one last year and I was like, oh, this will be a perfect DIY for a Mickey ghost. So that is pretty much what I picked up. Um, the rest of my dining room table, I think I told you guys before that I always decorate with existing decor that's already there. I don't take everything off my table and store it and just do something spooky. That would be amazing. But I just like to share with you guys how you don't have to drive yourself crazy. You can still have a magical spooky environment, a magical Christmas environment, a romantic Valentine's Day environment, a, a fun family driven, you know, harvest or, you know, whatever holiday you can still decorate around your existing decor. You do not have to move everything out. That is your choice. If you want to do that, it's a lot of work. It looks amazing, it looks beautiful and people switch out everything, but that's just not my lifestyle. 
I don't have anywhere to store all my stuff. All my stuff is pretty much fixtures that are on my table all year long. So I really don't move a ton of it. I did leave a lot of my decor out in my kitchen just so you guys know, a lot of the fall is still out. I'm not gonna be switching out a lot of that stuff just so you guys know. So parts of the home tour will look familiar to fall because some of the stuff is still the same with a few little tweaks in it, but not fully. So as you guys kind of go through the rest of the video, definitely know that some of the stuff is switched out. Some of it is not. A lot of it is new though, so you guys will be able to see a lot of the new parts of the video, but a lot of stuff is still the same. So I just wanna let you guys know that too. There's portions of it that's still the same. So enjoy the video. I may or may not come back on with my voice. If you guys don't hear me again on here, definitely thank you guys for watching. If you guys have been rocking with me since I started this account three months ago, woo, thank you so much. Those of you that are new, welcome. Make sure you guys check out some of my other videos too to kind of see, see some of the things that I've shared, some of the home tours, the baking, the cooking, relaxation motivation for fall. I have some really great videos up for you guys. I will be continuing to bring in more Halloween. I'll be doing some baking, maybe a couple DIYs. I'll be doing a wreath on here for you guys with you to show you what to do, stuff like that. So definitely make sure that you guys check out some of my other videos. If you're free this weekend, it's nice, it's chilly, it's great. The weather's amazing. Happy fall, um, happy autumn, wherever you may call it. Um, make sure that you guys check out some of the other videos. Just binge watch some of my other videos. Make sure you like, make sure you comment on those. Make sure your notifications are on so that you guys don't miss another video. And again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That helps my channel, pushes me out there so other people say, oh, lock with Leilani, oh, let's see what she's doing. It definitely helps a lot and I appreciate you guys if you guys are doing that already. Thank you so much. Those of you that always comment, there's a handful of you guys that always comment, a couple, a couple, but I appreciate that. It means the world to me for those of you that do comment. So definitely make sure that you guys continue to watch this video and enjoy it. Let me know at the end of the video in the comments, what was your favorite part of this video? I've never asked that. What's the favorite part of the video? Did you guys love the, the Madame Leota? Did you guys like the whole seance setup that I'm sharing with you right here? This is definitely my focal point on this table. I love this so much. And when I share it with people, they're just like, oh my gosh, Leilani, that's amazing. It looks so good. So I really love this part. So I definitely hope that you guys enjoy the video. Get yourself a drink, get yourself some spooky hot cocoa, get yourself a snack, whatever you may want, and definitely enjoy this video. I will be doing an outdoor video as well for Halloween. I just don't know when I'm gonna be putting that up because I have to wait for my husband to be off so we can figure out when we're gonna put everything up and stuff like that. That's still in the works. It's coming, but just wait for it. Uh, meanwhile, enjoy the video, guys. Thanks so much, and welcome to my haunted house. Madame Leota wants you. Here we go.
thought I would insert a couple little slides of what I'm actually doing too. I hope you guys are enjoying the Halloween Haunted House home tour hosted by yours truly, Madam Leota. But I want to show you guys what I was doing. So this is real life. I have to sweep my staircase very soon. You guys can see I have my haunted decor up here. I still have some of the scarecrow stuff out because I did not, like I said, if you guys are watching through the video, thank you guys for watching along and I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss another video. Um, right here, I have these guys. This is how I have everything set right here. Um, this is how it looks and I have that light out. But if I turn everything else out, you guys will see how it looks in dark. I'm actually going to be making this wreath with you guys on this particular home, home tour video. It's going to be super simple. I'm gonna put this wreath together so fast, it's not even gonna be funny, but I'm gonna be putting it on my staircase. So as you guys can see, I have right here, this is basically the ribbon I was gonna have my daughter film me while I put the rest of it on the staircase, but this is the Keep Out Fright Tape is what they're calling it. It is 30 feet, so I basically use one to do this bottom, bottom part of my staircase all the way up. So you guys can see I'm going all the way up with it and I have to go all the way up to the top. So I'm still working. I'm actually realizing that I missed some corners when I started doing the second section up here. I realized that I missed some corners. So I missed that long piece there. So I'm about to go back and do that. And then I wanna do some more going down this one right here as well. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to get a little footage of myself actually doing this so you guys can see, but basically I'm just wrapping it around. Where it starts is where I am actually taping it. So down here, is where it actually ended. So you guys can see the back right here. I just have it taped with just a regular scotch tape, which is over here. And I have it wrapped all the way up and then I start a second layer. I end up cutting it in half because it's super duper long. Again, it's 30 feet. So I ended up ripping that up. So I'm gonna try to get a little footage of me actually doing this. And then I will show you guys how it looks all together. I don't decorate my upstairs upstairs, but I do want to do the rail. Definitely for Christmas and stuff like that, I put a lots of lights on my rail. You guys will see it, you know, during the holiday season and it looks magical, but I had this tape. I usually wrap a bunch of it outside on my pillars, but I didn't do that this year or last year. Um, I don't think I've done it for a few years, but I decided to do my rails. I do have some purple and orange lights. My husband's supposed to put those up outside for Halloween, so we're gonna probably use those outside. So indoors, I may not put lights on the staircase this year. Um, I have done that before where I've put like some kind of white lights or the soft kind of orange yellow lights mixed together. I have done that in the past, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that this year. This year has been crazy, you guys. It's been super busy with my teenager in school, my son taking him back and forth to work. And I just seem like everything's busier. My husband's working more. It's just a lot. It's just a lot going on. So I just feel like we're just haven't really had a lot of time to get things together. But as you guys can see, I have the broom here and the dustpan. I have a plate on the ground. And no, I was not eating any food. <laughs> It's for my hot glue gun because I was just going to sit on the floor and add this into the video and share it with you guys. But yeah, this is what I've got going on right here. So anyways, let me get back to doing this so that I can get done. I'm playing my music on my phone. So I'm going to get back to this portion of the video. So I'm stopping again and, and with, throughout the video to show you guys something else. I'm going to be putting together this wreath really quick. Like, I mean, it only takes a few minutes to put this kind of thing together. I have this, um, this is the ribbon that I'm going to be using. And this one is from Dollar Tree. The wreath form is from Dollar Tree. And the wreath decoration kit is from Dollar Tree. Now, this is a little bit deceiving because on the actual little paper here, it shows like as if you're going to get all that stuff and just throw that on a wreath, but it's not. It's only the ghosts in here. You don't get the little boo little sign in the front. You have to make that yourself. You have to put all the ribbon on there yourself and all that. So all you get in this pack is the actual ghost. So I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible for myself. I don't know how it's going to look with just the wreath form, but I want to get it on the staircase because I'm just trying to finish up, you know, and present a wreath, a Halloween wreath 
on the staircase for the holiday, but I may have to add more to it, but we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna add that into the staircase and I'm gonna show you guys how the lights look on the staircase with the lights out. And I'm gonna also have the lights on just so you guys get both like representations of it. So right now I have my hot glue gun is heating up. It's gonna take a few minutes. I do always use a paper plate. Even in my kitchen, I use a paper plate. I did recently purchase, Dollar Tree has a glue mat now. I have to show it to you guys at a later time. When I'm doing another craft, I'll show it to you guys in another video, but I do have a um, a blue, it's like a little blue mat. It's called a glue gun mat. I did pick two of those up. So that's what I'm gonna be using when I'm in the kitchen, but I was on the go, so I just had this plate on the kitchen that I was using for something else. I was like, let me just throw my glue gun on here. This is what I typically do. So in order to make the wreath form, you guys know you need the form itself. They have a couple different designs. You can pick your choice and then different types of ribbon. It's, I like to use the regular ribbon like this because it makes it easy for me. If you guys remember my fall wreath that I had up for the um, the staircase with like the little um, scarecrows and stuff on it. If you guys did not see my fall home tour video, make sure you guys go back and watch that as well. It's a few videos back now, but you guys can check that video out where I actually just shared it. I didn't show how I made it, but it's super simple. I think a lot of people know how to make wreaths now, but I have shared um, pretty much how to make a wreath, but I have not showed you guys what I'm doing. So I'm going to be actually taking this ribbon off of the spool. I'm looking at it. I'm trying to see if it's the same exact ribbon. Yeah, it is the same ribbon. So I'm going to take one off the spool. I'm going to take a piece and wrap it around it. And then I'm just going to keep wrapping around, wrapping around, wrapping around with the hot glue gun and gluing it as I go. Make sure you keep it snug and tight. And then I'm gonna be taking this guy out and seeing how he actually wraps around it so I can add him to the center of the wreath and then put him on my staircase. And then I'll be able to continue through the video. This is basically how it's looking so far. It looks really pretty on the actual wreath form. It looks like a pretty ribbon, but um, this is one whole one. So I'm gonna have to take a little piece off of this one to add to this one. So I'm gonna do that now. So yeah, let's go. So here is the Crafter Square by Dollar Tree from Dollar Tree. This is the glue gun pad that I was talking about. It's wrapped up in the packaging like this. So this is how it looks once you take it out. And that is what I was talking about in case I forget, because I'll probably forget in another video. So as you guys can see, this area is still the same from fall. It's still fall. I mean, obviously October is Halloween, the month of Halloween, but it's still fall. You know what I'm saying? So I still have the pumpkin spice latte. This is the cutting board that's from Dollar Tree. Really great quality this year, you guys. Like Dollar Tree gave us some really nice stuff. This is a good quality. It's actually like nice, thick quality, like something you would get from Hobby Lobby. So I adore this. I just absolutely love how it looks in my kitchen. So I have that plugged in still, um, you know, still plugged into the decor with everything else. I have the lollipops that are from Dollar Tree as well with some Dollar Tree ribbon from last year on my Target white gumball machine that I picked up last year. They didn't do black or white gumball machines this year for some whatever reason, we haven't seen any. So I have that going. This was just an extra flower that I had and it's about to fall. It was an extra flower that like fell off one of the flower stems that I pick up from Dollar Tree for my decor. And then I just kept out the Mickey. I just love that Mickey plaid spatula so much. I've had it for a few years now. The pumpkin spice is Ray Dunn. And then behind this one, you can see the fall, y'all. So it was pretty much like this. 
in there, but I added the spooky one to give it, you know, that Halloween touch. I already had these out for fall, kind of like Halloween and fall mixed in together. And then I have the Hello Pumpkin mug by Ray Dunn. This is a new one this year with the little images all the way around it. The little, um, like kind of like 3D, kind of like stand, they stand out the pumpkins and the writing on there. And then I have the little Frankenstein LED light. I think the tea light, I think it's like really dull in here. It's still in there, but you guys can see it's really dull. So I just kind of add that to the corner. I do have the pumpkin spice Oreos out. Do you guys know I have not tried these? And this is the second box of pumpkin spice Oreos. My husband has been taking those down. My kids are not real big on like a lot of cookies. Certain cookies. My daughter does love cookies. She likes Oreos and chocolate chip cookies, but the regular Oreos. So I do have the um, the regular like chocolate Oreos with the boo. It's the boo Halloween ones that have orange in the center. I do have those in the bag. I have not put those out yet because I want to wait till, you know, um, I want to wait till October begins. So you guys are seeing this video. I'm like putting this video together. So, you know, you guys will see different. Um, it's a like different part to me, like putting this video together, but I will be releasing this video on the first day of October. So the very first day of October, you guys will get this video, which will be Sunday. Today is actually, if I'm being real with you guys, today is Wednesday and I'm doing this part of the video. So everything from like the staircase to the wreath till now is Wednesday, <laughs> September 27th. So we are getting that way. I had jury duty this week, as I told you guys earlier in this video or the last one, I think. Um, I had jury duty this week and I have not been called in yet. So fingers crossed that I have one more day to go. Tomorrow's Thursday. I have to call one more time tomorrow to make sure I don't have to go in on Friday. So that should be my full week and then my service will be good for the year. I hope that's the case because I have not been called in this week so far. But this is this area right here, you guys. This area brings me so much joy in my kitchen. Like when I get up every morning and I have this area right here, it just makes me so happy. And what I did move for the video, so it would not be in the video when I filmed it, is this candle. This is one of the candles that I picked up at Michael's. It is Sunday morning cereal. You guys, this one smells just like Trix cereal. You guys can see on there, it's got like some colorful cereal. It smells just like Trix or Fruit Loops. More so like Fruit Loops. I think those two smell similar, but yeah, definitely like Fruit Loops cereal. So basically you just take this lid off and I don't wanna break it, take the lid off. And then I just have this lighter that's also from Dollar Tree. So basically I just like lit this lighter and had that going. You guys might see this lit throughout the video because as I finish the video, it'll be like going into like the next day. I do have a couple more areas to show you guys. My coffee bar, my main coffee bar is pretty much still the same from fall. I will throw in a couple extra little things and then I'll show you guys probably before the end of the video, I'll show you guys my Halloween tea box that I have. It's a Ray Dunn tea box. You guys have probably seen um, in some of my intros, some of my um, thumbnails from some of my other holiday videos for fall and such. You guys have probably seen that tea box, but I'm gonna like show it to you guys and kind of go through some detail and show you guys the Halloween one as well that I have. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that one this year because again, I love my fall setup. I really did not wanna move a lot of it. This right here is something that's out all year long. This tasty, yum, delish is also Ray Dunn. The little sign is from Hobby Lobby. The pumpkin spice and everything nice is from Hobby Lobby this year for fall. The tasty, yum, delish is from, oh my gosh, where is it from? It's from Home Goods, I think. I think I found that at Home Goods. I thought it was too cute to pass up. I was like, I need to get that. That's adorable. And I just didn't figure out a place to put it. I was like, where can I put it on my counter? And I made a place for it here on the counter. And I mean, it just fits in so perfect. My house is so full, you guys. My whole house is full of everything. <laughs> and I literally don't have room for anything else. That's why it's really hard for me when I like find things and want to buy stuff. I'm like, oh, I can't buy that. I can't get this. I can't get that. That's a lot of stuff that I like want to get. Like this year, I want to get like a big gingerbread house to put on the counter. But if you guys made it this far in my video, thanks for watching once again. If you guys saw the witch area with like the candelabra and all of the potion bottles and stuff like that, that's like my hallway area that I decorate every year around Christmas time. I do the, the white snow sheet and then I put lights under it and then I put make like a little village right there, kind of simulate like a little Christmas village. I'm not really crazy about how that looks anymore. So I want to do something different. So I'll probably try to find a gingerbread house. I don't know. I don't own any big gingerbread houses, so I have to continue to try to search for one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This is the um, glass pumpkin from Target that was really popular last year. Everybody and their mom was looking for this thing. And this glass is $5. And like I said, I do have the pumpkin spice cookies in there. I will be switching those out. I'll be putting those in a sandwich bag, and I'll be putting in the, um, the Boo Oreos. But I'm not going to put those in until 
probably like the first, second week of October. So these will still be here for a while. They do just kind of go with this aesthetic and you know, I'll put the other ones in as the month goes on. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna get, let you guys get back to the video. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of my Halloween calendars as well. Let me know if you guys spot them in the video because they will be in the video and uh, you guys will see those very shortly. So let's get back to that video. so i also wanted to share really quick before i close out the end of the video i did receive some happy mail from one of my friends here in the youtube world in the space and she's also a friend of mine on instagram as well linen things i'll put her info in the description of this video so that you guys can go and check her out she does a ton of dollar tree videos a little bit of cooking videos hair videos and things like that she's super sweet and so positive and so informing informative excuse me so i really appreciate her but i did ask her if she could find a couple of the chocolate gnomes from um not gnomes the little elves the chocolate elves um from i'm always saying the gnomes because i always have so many gnomes um, I was asking her if she could find some of the little chocolate elves that were at Dollar Tree for me because I did see them in her video and she was kind enough to send some to me. Um, so I really appreciate that. Um, I just sent her some happy mail as well. So, you know, it's just very nice to have, you know, some friends in the space that can grab things for you and, you know, just send you a little bit of happiness and a little positivity. So I really appreciate her so much. So thank you again, Lynn, if you're watching this video. Thank you so much. She did send me a beautiful card, live, laugh, and love, repeat. And of course, she wrote something on the back, which of course that is for me to read. But she did send me a couple of these adorable little elves and they are so cute. I think I told you guys one of my past videos that the little elves are actually um some that are similar to ones that they had at um at marshall's not marshall's um michael's a couple years ago they had a couple different ones that were super cute and she actually sent me a couple of these i told her that i usually do stuff in fours and they're a dollar 25 so she was like so sweet and thoughtful enough to send me four of them so i really appreciate that so i just wanted to say thank you again lynn and these will get some good use and i'll definitely be tagging you again when i use them for christmas i do have quite a few that i use now for christmas that i already have they look different than these but they're super cute as well so thank you so much for grabbing these for me um i hope you guys are enjoying the video and i will definitely uh, finish up the video and i'll talk to you guys later bye